Hey everybody, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts and today I'm going to give you a video on something new. Um, I was at the Dollar Tree and my friend Kim does um, ornaments and stuff on these bottle caps. And so I was at the Dollar Tree and her bottle caps are just gorgeous and Kim if you will allow me at some point, I would like to display some of the pictures you sent me. But I know you usually don't like to send your pictures out because you think that your stuff isn't good enough. But oh my gosh, you guys, Kim is an amazing crafter. She pays extreme detail uh, attention to the details in everything she does. And so when she did her ornaments, I mean, every little image and and uh, flower and anything she put on those um, ornaments was in the exact right place they were beautiful and so I'm trying to encourage her to start showing off her gorgeous uh, pieces because she definitely is an amazing crafter so Kim if you allow me to at some point I would love to display some pictures of some of your ornaments and pretty quick here I want to start doing a few Christmas things so um, I just want you guys to know that that will be coming up also um, I'm going to show you guys some of the images that I got from the other paper girl um, She's got an Etsy shop and she sells uh, digital images and she sent me some so that I could show you guys. I will not be selling these digital images so if you want to get them you have to get them from her shop. Um, and I will put the link to her Etsy shop in the description menu below. Um, so for now though what I want to do these bottle caps are amazing I spray painted mine white they come in silver and I only bought two of them and you guys they only had a few of them at my Dollar Tree and I'm hoping I can go back over there and get more I think this is something they carry um, all the time so I'm hoping fingers crossed that I'm gonna be able to get more of these little uh, bottle caps is what I call them. They look like bottle caps. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do, I've got two of them kind of set up here that I want to do. And then I also, let me go ahead, while, before I get started on these, I want to show you, these are some of the images that I got from um, the other paper girl. These are some teddy bear images. And look at how cute cute they are oh my gosh they're so vintage looking I've got a sheet here actually where I printed them bigger so these are some of the teddy bears that she sent me I didn't print all of them I just printed some of them and they're absolutely stunning the other thing that she sent me was some of her vintage houses and you guys aren't going to believe this. These are so gorgeous. Look at these. Uh-oh. Nobody I know. Okay. Um, so these are some of the vintage houses that she has in her shop. Look at those. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait because what I've been wanting to do, I've been looking and looking and looking for vintage houses. And the reason that I've been doing that is I want to take some of my girls, like for instance, I've got this one here, and I want to be able to like put them as if they were walking up to the house. And these I can change the sizes of and the houses I can change the sizes of so that they, uh, they fit. You know, I could even back this off a little bit and it looks like she's closer to the camera and the house is farther away. So there's a lot of ways you can do that, but I cannot wait to use these images. And what I did was I'm going to be doing an Altoid tin and I took my tin out. I had painted it white already and I had taken this out because I think what I want to do is I'm going to um, do this one probably using some of the teddy bear images, but I also cut a couple of the vintage house 
uh, images down to size and look at how pretty that would be on that tin. This one's exceptionally pretty. It's a little pink house. Look at how beautiful that is. So I haven't decided exactly which one I'm going to use. I kind of thought I would use this one um, on this and you can see it doesn't cover up the lettering but that's okay because I'm going to be putting things around the edges of the image but this would be like a business card holder or a pill tin and this is just an old Altoids tin that I had laying around from eons ago and so I wanted to do something with it and um, also what I want to do is I want to take one of these vintage houses and I want to do one in one of these bottle caps and I think that's going to be super super gorgeous so I cannot wait I got to get over to the Dollar Tree and see if I can get some more of these but I already had these images and things ready for these and I'm excited this one is going to be adorable and this one's going to be gorgeous too so um, and I did some butterflies for these as you can see I've got some of my vintage butterflies these are not uh, diamond dusted but I'm going to be using some of my butterflies in this one and then I've got other butterflies that I'm going to use in the other one so these are the butterflies for the other bottle caps so they're all gorgeous but I wanted especially to use vintage ones for this because wait till you see this little girl and these I do have a couple of um, bears that I'm using these are images that I had already printed and cut out and I was already prepared th with this one and I probably I, I might have used some of the other ones but these I wanted more of a stuffed bear look for this and these are stuffed bears images of stuffed bears and I just cut them out and um, this is a really cute one I've had around forever and this was a tag, but I just cut the bear out of the tag to use in this project. So, and I've got some flowers. Look at this little girl. This is actually a photo of a doll. But she's so pretty, and I added some uh, glass glitter to her dress and her hat and her umbrella. But look at how cute she is. OMG, I had to use her. And then I was trying to find a background for this, and I couldn't find one. And then I came across this lace, and oh my gosh, look at it. It almost looks like a, a, a filigree kind of a wrought iron fence behind her. And I thought, oh my gosh, that would be gorgeous. And then I came across this doily, and... So this is kind of just a background. You could call it a fence. You could call it a wall, paper design, whatever. But then I stuck this little doily down here. And look, it looks like she's standing on a little rug. So I got really excited about this. I'm super excited, you guys. Can you tell? Um, and I can't wait to, to put this one together. I am going to cut this lace to try and get it to fit in here a little bit better. I'm just going to cut off some of these edges here. And I'm going to cut off that tip because that edge was pretty, pretty raggedy. <coughs> so let's see here. I'm going to have it kind of come up to the edge of the coke bottle cap here I'm gonna bring this to right there I think and that should do it yeah so there we go so I've got that cut and laid in the bottom of that so you can see with her standing in there Look at how that looks. It looks amazing behind her. So I, I just got really, really excited about that. And I know it's white like the cap, but it, it kind of goes in to the cap, but yet it adds that um, 
depth, I guess, is what I'm looking for. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing that I want to do, I'm trying to think here. I'm going to use this on the other one because it's going to kind of go around the edges of the other one. It would be very pretty in this one too, but I'm going to keep that for the other one because I already had it decided and I don't want to mess with my design. Um, but I do kind of want to put something around the edge of this one as well and I think this one will pull that vintage look into it because it's more of a an ivory color yeah I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put this around the edge here get my glue gun and right now my glue is gonna look I think I'm going to start it down here at the bottom because um, I know this part's going to be covered with that little rug ish. <laughs> and so um, I don't mind the, the edges being together down there. So I started to say my glue is a little bit yellow because my glue gun's been left on overnight. Oopsies. That's not good. Don't ever leave your glue gun turned on overnight, you guys. That's not something that you want to do. And I am embarrassed to say I've done it more than once because I get in such a hurry when I'm done working on something and I'm usually on my way to work as soon as I get done. And so I end up leaving it turned on. Sometimes Jeff will come across it and he'll shut it off but usually I'll come back to it and it's still on I just think this is going to be really pretty going around the edge of this this is going to be so darn cute you guys And you know, I've been seeing these Coke bottle, these bottle caps forever in the Dollar Tree and I just, I, I've been walking past them because I thought, okay, I'm not doing Christmas ornaments right now, but these don't have to be Christmas ornaments, you guys. They can be wall hangers or, you know, whatever and they're just so pretty. Let me cut this off. Okay. There we go. So that's what that part looks like. It's just a little edge. And it's just a lace trim is all. Get these little glue strings off of here. Okay, now I'm going to take my other lace and making sure that my holes, because this has holes in it, to be able to hang it and I took off the the bits that were in there so that I could paint it and I'm not sure if I'm going to use that to put it back on or if I'm going to use some ribbon I'll have to wait and see um, between the two which one looks better so I want this to go straight up the middle here so I'm just going to start whoops I'm going to start gluing this down so that it doesn't continue to move on me. Okay. Gotta make sure that I get this in the right spot. There we go. And let me get some more glue. I'm just going to take and put some in some various places on this to start getting it glued down. 
these spots I'm putting kind of behind where I'm going to put her so you won't see that glue. And because that glue is a little bit yellow from being turned on, still hot, burnt I should say, it got burnt. And there's a couple of strings that are kind of sticking up. That's okay. I can I can cut those off when I need to. I mean, you don't need a ton of glue on this, you guys. Just put as little as you can making sure that you can you can stick it down but you don't have to have it you know everywhere because that little bit is just enough to stick it down and especially where the the lace is behind it right here you can put some on that and it will stay right there on that lace really well okay so I just have a couple of little spots here that I want to trim up a little bit. Trying not to ruin my scissors here. here I want to kind of glue down all right so that's down <clears throat> and then I'm gonna put the little rug down right there and I think we're gonna put her off sort of to the side just a little bit right about there Let me make sure I've got this the right direction. Put it this way. Right there. Make sure it's turned in the right direction and I'm gonna just kinda set her down a second and make sure that's what I want. Yes. Okay, so let's get the rest of this glued down. And see how cute that looks? It, it looks like a little rug. Okay. And she goes first. bits of glue on parts of her. And her little hand. Okay, so she looks very cute, and her arm isn't cut off here, you guys. It's tucked behind, like, in her pocket, just so you know. And this little teddy bear is sitting on a little chest, toy chest. So I want this one to go kind of right in front of her, but what I'm going to do...
is I've got these little foam bits and I think I'm going to use one behind this bear and actually I do want to really quickly I'm going to put a little bit of resin on on this one and a little bit of sparkle so I'm just going to take my little top here I'm going to squeeze some of my Let's Resin on here this is the UV resin that I use called Let's Resin I will put a link to that in the description menu in case you guys are interested in getting some of that. I use, I'm using it in a lot of stuff lately and I much prefer it over using triple thick or anything else really. I'm just going to put a little bit on each button and I don't want a lot of, of um, I'm putting a little bit here on the eyes and the nose just to make those shine. I didn't need to put quite so much out there. And I'm going to take this and put it over my trash can so that I can get it just on those buttons and the flower. So I'm just going to get out of frame for just a minute, you guys, and I'll show you. I'm just sprinkling a little bit. trying to keep it out of the eyes and nose. And then I'm going to just pop this, you can see the, the sparkle, I'm going to pop it under my UV lamp for just a second and then I'm going to kind of do a little bit of the same to these, um, these other bears just in a couple of spots. So I'm just going to put a little resin on the flowers in her hat. And I think we'll take a little bit down over her little pearls here, make them sparkle just a bit. And a little bit down at the bottom of her dress. And then I think I'll put a little tiny bit on her purse just kind of up here at the top of the purse. And again, I'm going to well, I'm not even going to dot her eyes because they're so small nobody would ever see that sparkle anyway. So let's get some of our glass glitter. Here, I'll just do it over my jar. And I'm just sprinkling it on and then tapping it to get the excess off. And again, that's going to go under the UV light. And then we're going to do this one. And this is not going to be two bears, this little girl here. This is going to be one bear. But I'm going to double it up to kind of give it a more 3D appearance. But I do want the glitter to be on her as well. I'll just pick which one I want on the top and which one I want on the bottom. I'm trying to tap this glass glitter down. Just remember you guys when you're using glass glitter it is glass and you have to be careful not to do this around kids 
that are too small to understand that it, it can cut you. It can cut a person. They're little teeny tiny shards, but they will cut. So you have to be really careful. And I'm just going to put a little dot kind of at the bottom of this little sign. The sign says, bless your heart. How cute is that? Okay. That one under the light. And these two are ready. And actually, so is this one. And I'm just making sure there's no sharp edges sticking over like that one on the bear. Nothing sticking over. And let's see here. Let me show you guys all the little bears. Whoops. And these don't really even need 60 seconds of curing time under the UV light because it's such a very thin coat of resin. So those are our little bears with a little bit of sparkle. Let's take that away. And I just have this piece of paper and I've been using it, you guys. It's got some resin on it and stuff, but I just wanted to put that down to kind of protect my fabric that's under here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these little um, foam things down and this is going to kind of stick up like that. So you can see from the side view it's going to stick up a little bit. And that's going to give me that 3D effect that I want. So I'm going to just put a little bit of glue on the bottom and I'm going to stick it to her dress. And then I'm going to take this bear and I want to just kind of shape it just a little bit so it's not curling up on the edges or anything. And I'm going to put some glue on that. And that bear is going to go right there. Okay. And I can see I've got a couple of glue strings I want to get off of there. So let's get those now while I can still reach them. Okay. So there's that. And now we're going to take these two little bears. And I think this one I'm going to put back here behind that one, like that, maybe even kind of up higher. But I do want to see this one's little wings. And which one of these are we going to use on the top? Okay, so this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick her down to the little girl here and then I'm going to put this one like that underneath and what I want to do is I actually want to have this one sticking out just like ever so slightly so that it it shows but not like the whole thing and that's how you get that sort of 3D effect and it's hard for me to do this while I'm trying to hold one in place and get the other one under the other teddy bear. Maybe I'll put her coming out in front of him like that. Let's, let's see if I can give you the effect here. Kind of like that. So that's going to look really cute. So I think this one is going to go right where I have her. Oh, but I 
definitely don't want to cover, I'm glad I saw that, I don't want to cover up the umbrella that she's got in her hand right here. So I'm going to make sure that I'm careful not to do that. There, she's pointing in the right direction. And now we're going to take this little foam and we're going to put that right on her belly. And she's going to sit right in front of the toy chest bear. Just like that. And she's barely sticking out back there. But this is one way, you guys, that you can get kind of a 3D effect. See how they're kind of one behind the other? Let me see if I can get you a good look at that without too much sparkle. Let me see. I'm going to let me put my flashlight on my phone. My, it's my lighting in here is not the world's greatest, but that'll help light it up a little bit so you guys can see. There we go. How one's behind the other, but when you have it when you have it pointing straight ahead, let's see. You don't see the other one except for just the little edges. But isn't that cute, you guys? Look at how cute it is. So, maybe what I need to do. Oops. Let me turn off my flashlight here. Okay. Maybe I need to come down and I hate when I do this because I always end up coming down too far. There we go. That might give you guys a little bit better view of what I'm doing and I'm hopefully I'm getting everything in the camera because it seems like I can see it up on the camera but then when I pull it up on my computer, I'm not seeing as much as I did on my camera. So it's very frustrating because I feel like I should be able to see exactly what you guys are going to see when I'm filming. And that doesn't seem to be the case. And I'm just grabbing a couple of glue strings off of here real quick. I just love the sparkles on there though. Aren't they pretty? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some flowers. And these are some of the flowers I took out to put on this one. So let's just see. Oh, I still have to glue this one down. Um, I just don't want to cover her up either, so I, I'm trying to do this so that this little bear shows. I'm just going to put it where I initially thought. I want him to show, but I don't want him to, I don't want to hide his wings, but I also need space to put my flowers in without completely covering him up. So, what we're going to do... And here's what I'm doing. I'm covering up the little rug is what I'm doing. <laughs> That's too high. So I'm going to take this flower and I'm going to put it right there. And I need a little flower. Let's see. I think I'm going to try and put a little flower like right here on the corner of this image so that it's just kind of sticking right in there. And then maybe one more. This one's going to stick up too far. Just trying not to use up all of my. Uh, my little paper flowers here. I feel like I need to have one sort of under. That there. 
and then one there, kind of like that. That's what I'm going to do. So that one's going down there. And that one is going right there. And there is still one spot right in there that I feel like I have to fill in. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll take that one and put it there. And then start with the bigger ones. There we go. And then this little guy, I'm just going to put a dot of glue under it and press it sort of up against the edge here. I just love doing stuff like this, you guys. It, it just makes me smile to do anything with like little vintage teddy bears and stuff. I have a couple of vintage teddy bears myself and I absolutely adore them. And I, I just enjoy having them. I, they just, they make my heart sing. That one probably would have been better there. We're going to pull this one out, you guys, if I can get it out. It's still a little bit soft, the glue is anyway, see? Just like mozzarella cheese. <laughs> and I think we're going to put this white one. It's a little bit bigger, and I think it just breaks it up a little bit better. And that one looks pretty there. And I have one teeny tiny one. I'd like to find kind of a whiter flower to go there. That one doesn't go. You know, it's so funny, you guys. I get these things all figured out, and then somehow something changes. I don't need that one there. And that one definitely needs more. Oh, I don't even think I glued that one down. I didn't. Silly me. Um, I do have a couple of purples, and the flowers actually in her hat are a little bit purple. I wonder if I stuck a couple of little purple ones in there. They're not purple purple, they're lavender, but I think that lavender color might really look nice to kind of offset all the pink flowers. So maybe we'll put one right there. Between those two. I'm not going to use that one. Um, and let's see. Or do I want to take it right down there? I think it looks good right there. I'm just trying to break up some of the pink, you guys. That's that's all I'm doing with these little purple flowers. Just a couple of them in there to kind of break it up a little bit. So we've got pink, white, and purple. Okay. And I don't want to add that in because that's kind of a almost a yellowish, although that does go with that little edging, but nah. We don't need that. I did take out a couple of these. I didn't even think about these. I took out a couple of these little white foam foamerin uh, flowers that I have that my friend um, Deanna sent me. I 
actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this one just coming over the edge here. That looks really pretty. I can't believe I hadn't thought of that already. We're going to put it just like that so that it's coming over the edge. There. Okay, now for our butterflies. We've got our three beautiful, beautiful butterflies. And actually, I've got um, one of the bigger ones too. So you can see I've got the two different sizes here. And I'm thinking maybe what I'll do is I'll put this big one right here on the edge. And what I wanted to do is kind of have a little effect of them flying around her and then one over here. And that looks gorgeous, you guys. This is so cute. I am so excited about this, you guys. I mean, true, truly, truly, I'm so excited about this little hanger. I just have to make sure that the f butterflies are exactly the way I wanted them to be. I played with these butterflies and played with these butterflies. I could take and have one kind of coming off from the umbrella, but I don't think I want to do that. And I've got a little bit of glue right here hanging off. Let me cut that off first. Um. See. I'm sorry you guys I'm looking for another flower I feel like I want to put another flower down here like a, a couple of flowers right down here because if this doesn't look finished off the way that I want it to then I'm going to be disappointed and that's not the right kind of flower We've got this one. Nope. Oh, you know what I do have? I do have some of these. These are rosebuds. And these might be pretty coming out from somewhere. Either maybe have those kind of coming up next to the little girl or the little teddy bear or coming out over here. Okay, you guys, let me see if I can find one or two of my little white flowers. There's a couple. That looks really pretty. These foam marine flowers are nice though to put in a spot where you need something a little bit bigger but not too big. I've just got my little uh, tin, 
tin here with lots and lots of flowers in it. And a lot of my a lot of my flowers are just kind of the little ones especially are kind of strewn around underneath. I like that flower better than this one because this one's got that bright, bright green leaf under it and I do not like those bright green leaves. Maybe if I take just that bottom layer off, this one will look a little bit more like what I want it to look like. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so we are going to use one of my foam flower, my foam roses here. I just feel like then it kind of takes the edges away from from that. These flowers are so pretty and I just I keep trying to use them and then I I forget about them until they they're going to be in the wrong place. And part of me feels like that should go over here. And then maybe just go like that, or like that. I don't want to go too far with this either, so maybe we'll just put one more flower. Let me find a small one of the small pink ones. Here's a pink one. And just make that the end. Or, you know what? I think what I need to do is go with one of the purple ones. Yep. That's exactly what it needed. Okay. So that's going to go right there by her feet. Or I could take these and, sorry, I'm going to twist this a little bit more so that I can get these to stay together a little bit better. And maybe just have those buds pop out right there. Yes. Okay, we've got it, you guys. And I'm sorry, sometimes when it comes to my flowers, I can get really, really picky about where they have to land. And sometimes it probably seems like I haven't changed much. But in person, it's, it's changed it quite a bit, in my eyes anyway. And what I could do is I could just use the three small butterflies... and not use the big one. Okay, and just kind of do that. We'll go like this with two and put one over here. I like when you I like looking at the ones where you see like three butterflies flying together. But I think honestly for this, I really kind of feel like I really want one on the other side too. So that's what we're going to do right there. So let me glue these beautiful ladies on here. there. Get them pointing in the right direction. And we're going to put that one right there. Just like that. 
And these butterflies don't have the uh, diamond dust. Oh, you know what I could do? Oh, and I already thought of this the other day, and I can't believe I had forgotten. This big one's going to go somewhere. And I'm starting to think maybe, had I thought of that, I wouldn't have needed to use all those flowers. I like having this one in with the flowers. But I think I kind of really like that spot right there. And if I'm going to do that, I am going to remove this flower, if I can. And it's okay if I leave a little bit of it behind, or take an edge off his foot and dock on it. It's just not going to come off easily. Yeah, I left a little bit behind there, but that's all right. And that one down there, I'm not even going to try. But that's okay because, um, where are they, where are they? I have some beautiful flowers that my friend D sent me. And where did I put them? I know I just put them over here this morning. I'm certain of it. Oh, here they are. I'm wondering if one of these, these are so pretty and I, I had actually seen these on, I don't know if it was Amazon or, um, or Tamu, but Anyway, I had seen some of these, and I was going to order them, and I didn't because I didn't think they would be as pretty as they are, but they are absolutely 100% gorgeous, you guys. I love these flowers, and my friend, like I said, my friend Dee sent these to me, and I am thrilled to death with the way that they sparkle. And look, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And I think I'm going to pop a couple of them in here. Mm, they might not go too well, though, with... Man, I wish they did, though. I really wanted to use some of these. Uh, let's see. Well, this butterfly is going to go right there. And I think I am going to put one of these flowers right there. Because I feel like I have to cover up that spot. And you can just see it out from underneath it. And that looks absolutely beautiful. I love these flowers, D. O M G, they're my favorites. I'm going to definitely order some more of them. So thank you for giving me that, the sampling that I needed <laughs> to make that decision. So let's see. I just got to figure out where my glue needs to go on this. So that I can make sure it stays down. Right there. Okay, so let's put these back in their bag. Where did I put the bag? These are so pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys, they're gorgeous. Um, okay, so that's what it looks like, you guys. Is that not gorgeous? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I am going to, really quick here, I'm gonna add some sparkle to these flowers because I feel like they need some sparkle. So we're just gonna add some glass glitter to them. because I think that will just finish this off really nicely. Hopefully I'm not popping my head in there where you guys are looking at the top of my head. At least I did color my hair this time though. <laughs> 
I get so embarrassed when I see some of my videos and I've got my head in there and I haven't colored my hair and it just looks horrible. That's embarrassing. I mean, it's fine if I'm sitting around at home. I'm not worried about it, but not if I'm going to be putting myself on camera. Let me just squirt a little bit more resin on there because it's getting a little bit gummy. And I don't want to leave this resin sitting on there and soaking into the paper for too long before I um, cure it because sometimes it'll take it and, and make the the paper kind of almost translucent on those flowers and I don't like when that happens. So let me try and quickly take care of these flowers. And I think also on this butterfly down here, I am going to put a little bit of glass glitter. So you guys can see, you can take a paintbrush, I got some fuzzies in that um, from the glue. You can take a paintbrush and go over whatever it is that you want to add a little glass glitter to and um, you can wash your paintbrush out. All you need to do is use a little bit of alcohol and it will clean very nicely and you'll still be able to use your brushes for whatever else that you want to use them for. So it's okay to use your paint brushes with um, resin. And I'm just gonna kind of go over this piece of paper here that I have and start dumping some glass glitter on these bits. This spoon has been in this glass glitter for so long that it's got little uh, little bits of um, glass glitter that's got like resin on them. And so there's some chunks on the glue, but they're all soaked in there. They're not going anywhere. They're gonna stay right there on that spoon. Okay, let me just make sure that I've got everything. And I'm going to shake this over my trash can real quick. And then I think what I'm going to do, you guys, is I think I'm going to do my other um, bottle cap, but I think I'm going to do a separate video on that one. Because this video is already long enough. It's already an hour, so we don't want to go over that by too much. So 
Um, what I'm going to do is for the hanging bit, I'm trying to decide, do I want to go with that? I kind of like that ribbon better. So we're going to go with this ribbon. And I need it to be, I need to be able to tie that in knots a little bit. So let's just make this ribbon as long as this is. Maybe slightly longer because I have to tie it in knots. So there we go. And I'm going to tie this one end in knots and then pull it through and then I'll figure out where I want it to land to do the knots in the other end. Um, actually, actually you guys, what I need to do is I need to put beads. I'm going to put you guys on pause for just a minute. I'm going to find a couple beads. Okay, so I got a couple of pearls and I'm going to use this this ribbon and these are big pearls and they've got quite large uh, holes in them and I believe I can get this ribbon to go through there oops let me just sharpen the tip a little bit more like that. So I'm going to make it a nice sharp tip. Okay. Okay. Don't know where I dropped the other pearl at, but I know it's around here somewhere. There it is. I'm going to just drop that in there. So let's get that to go into the pearl. And I should... Ah, I got it frayed a little bit. So here's what I need to do and I should have thought of this in the first place and I've got plenty of ribbon here so I'm not worried about that we're gonna take our torch and we're gonna torch torch the end of it so that it doesn't fray and now we're gonna put that through And I just got it to come through the end, so there we go. And this is a very, very thin, probably not even a centimeter ribbon. And I can't tell you exactly, you guys, because unfortunately this is a piece of ribbon that came off of something else that I saved. So let's just decide how long we want this to be to hang it. And I'm going to say probably right about there. And then I need some more space to tie my knot. So I'm going to tie it. Oh, yeah, it's going to have to go. Let's see, how's this going to work? No, I need to put my other pearl on. Okay, let me sit down. <laughs> All right. I'm going to, oh, I already torched that, so I don't need to torch it again. So I'm going to put it through here. I'm going to get that out of my way because I'm going to end up sticking my hand in it. And I already have and getting my hand all sticky. That's one thing that's not good about that resin, you guys. It's very sticky and gooey and gummy. If you get it on yourself, you want to get it off as soon as possible because it just can make a real big mess that you don't want. So I have these teeny little alcohol pads. I keep these around all the time for things like this, for glue, for ink, if I get ink on my hands, whatever. I make sure that I have some alcohol pads around so that I can clean it off. Okay, so now we're going to take our other pearl and pop this end through this one. And hopefully we can get that end to go through too. 
There we go. So these pearls are, um, these are, I'm going to say about a 15 millimeter pearl. So that should be perfect. So now I'm just going to take and tie it in a knot. I'll try and get it up where I want it. So I don't want this hanger to be too long. I think that's probably pretty good. Make sure it's... Uh, it needs another knot in it. need to make your knot big enough so that the pearl isn't going to slide through it. Or it's not going to slide through the pearl, I should say. So I'm just going to tie that knot right over the outside of the other one. And there, that's going to be perfect so that it won't come through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to torch the end of it. My torch is about to run out of um, butane, so I'm going to have to fill it. These torches are really, really great. I get them at a little dollar store that I have local to me, and they are refillable, so I just pop this, um, where's my refill can? I don't know where I put it, you guys. I thought I had it right in front of me. Anyway, I have a big can of stuff. Oh, here it is. I, I get a can of this at the same store. It's a little dollar store again. I've had this can for probably two years now, and it's still at least halfway full. So then when it runs out, I just pop the... I'll show you guys while I've got you here. If I can get the lid off. So it just has this kind of a tip. So I take it and I put it upside down and just push it in there just like that. So the little holes right there, right there. Take my can and I just hold it on there and, and kind of watch it. You can kind of see it fill. And I like to get enough in there that it's going to last a little while. I don't usually fill it completely full. And then I can see, yeah, this needs a lot. I'm trying to remember if, I, if I'm supposed to be doing this upside down or right side up. Maybe it's right side up. I don't know. I always figure it out, but it seems like it's coming out faster if I do it right side up. And I'm just trying to see in the light if I can see it filling. I think I've got enough for now. I don't need to bore you guys with this stuff. I'm wasting camera time. Okay, so always have yourself a little torch and these are great. And you can see it's hanging just fine. It's not going to go anywhere. The pearls are going to stay on that ribbon. And this is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I am super excited about these little bottle caps. Thank you, Kim, for giving me the idea of using it. And look at that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. So this will be in my Etsy shop if anybody's interested in purchasing it. Let me see if I can maybe put it across this piece of chiffon so you guys can see it a little bit better. 
just like that. So there we go. Isn't she pretty? Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm super excited about these, and I hope you guys are too. And get over to your Dollar Tree. And you know what? What I might do, because I do know that there are people who um, don't live near a Dollar Tree or what have you. I think I'm going to try and um, make some little kits for you guys so that you can make your own um, wall hangers. And then I, I'm guaranteeing I'm going to make some more of these and have them in my shop. So um, I hope you guys liked this video. And I'm sorry, I just realized a minute ago that I did not do a um, inspirational quote. I will do one in my next video. And um, I didn't even, you guys, I did not even resin or put my UV light on those flowers and the um, the butterfly and stuff. So I'm going to put my UV light on that right now and get this going and get it all cured. And um, that's it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned because I'm going to make another one right after this. This is my day off, so I'm going to do as much as I can. And so, yeah, there's, we're going to do this one next. And I just eyeballed my um, pearls, and I may change the way I was going to do this one, or I might save the pearls for another one. I don't know, um, because I did kind of already have this one figured out. And then I'm going to do one with, um, and, and this other one I've got to wait because I've got to go to the Dollar Tree. I'm going to see if I've got enough time. I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree and get some more um, some more uh, bottle caps and I'm going to do one of one of these gorgeous gorgeous houses. That is going to be amazing you guys. So anyway this is today's project. It's beautiful. It's fun. It's I, I, I don't even have words, you guys, to say how gorgeous this turned out. Anyway, everybody, have a wonderful day. Make sure you hit the like button. You guys, I would really, really appreciate it. Um, you know, one of these days I'm going to do a video and say, you know, if I get a certain number of uh, thumbs ups, I'm going to do a giveaway. In fact, maybe that's what I'll do with my... Um, my 8,000 subscriber video, since I haven't done that yet, is I'm going to see how many thumbs ups I can get on that video. And if I get a certain number of thumbs up, no, we got to do that a separate one because the 8,000 is the 8,000. But give me a thumbs up on this one, you guys. You know you love this. It is so pretty and so just so sweet. And I just love this. And I hope you guys do too. So have a glorious day. Be safe. Be well. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your fam family. Um, love them always. And make sure you show it. And have a blessed, blessed day. God bless you all. Bye-bye.